Hi. Um, I'd like to thank my mum and dad. No, seriously, I would, I always do. It's thanks to them that I'm here. When I left school and I told them I want to be a comedian, they actually paid for me to do a joke course. Uh, if you guys want to do the same one, it was called History at University of Bristol. <laughs> Now, my mum doesn't think that joke's funny at all. She was like, Alistair, can you stop using your history degree in jokes? I'm like, to be fair, mum, where else am I going to use that? <laughs> right? I spent 22 grand on a history degree, man. When do you think I'm going to get that money back? In order for my degree to get me a job, a group of people in an office have to be like, OK, guys, does anyone know who started the French Revolution? Because we have got a client coming in at five. I don't want to get caught out on this again, guys. Also, the client does not want to talk to an expert. We are looking for someone with a two-two. Somebody who sort of knows what went on, but not really, this guy. Right? This is what they do to young people these days. They send you to university, okay, and you get some fucking degree. What are you supposed to do with it? Okay, I'm in a group job interview. The lady next to me has a degree in nuclear physics. She is a borderline genius, this lady. The balls on the guy running the interview. He goes, well, the thing that's bothering me, Jennifer, is you don't have any experience in recruitment, do you? <laughs> no, Jeffrey, she does not. But she does have some in nuclear physics. Which I'm pretty sure might be harder. No offence, buddy, but if she can split an atom, she could probably figure out how to pick up this phone and start fucking bothering people. 